Hello and uh, welcome. Let's give it a moment for sound to catch up here. My name is Bill Skladowski, by the way, and I am uh, with BillSkladowski.com, and I help uh, small local businesses and home-based businesses use social media to make more money. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, I just wanted to say thanks and welcome to all the replay viewers who have uh, joined us. Uh, this is going to be the first of what I hope is a lot, lot, lot of good content for small businesses out there as they try to navigate the waters of uh, social media, online marketing, and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's jump right into this. Uh, hello and welcome. My name is Bill Skladowski coming to you live from Sarasota, Florida. And uh, I have a company, an online marketing business that helps local businesses and home-based businesses do better marketing, get their message out, spread the word and all that. I know so many of us started our local businesses with the idea in mind that we would uh, do it all. And if you've uh, read the book, The E-Myth, uh, by Gerber, I believe it is. He talks about how so many entrepreneurs out there uh, decide to, well, take what they do and what they love and make a business out of it. You know, so in other words, if you're um, a baker, you bake great pies or cakes or something, and you decide uh, you're, you know, you would like to try it as a business. Well, then you go into business and you start making cakes and pies at your own place, and it works for everything, I guess. If you're a if somebody who likes to tinker on cars, you could start a car shop or a repair shop. Or if you're a guy uh, like I was a few years ago who was uh, very much into computers, I started a business where I helped people with fixing their computers. Well, the problem with that, which Gerber talks about in the E-Myth, is that uh, we bring our expertise of what we do, that is the baking or the pies or the computer or the car repairing, we bring that to the game but we don't bring any business expertise. And so we end up trying to be a business operator and do all the things that are involved with running a business, the management, the hiring, the bookkeeping, the taxes, the licensing, the, all the stuff that has nothing to do with our core skills of being a great cake baker or car repair person or computer person or whatever. So there's the problem, right? You start a business and you are great at one thing and maybe not so much with other things. As I talk to local business people and I have experiences with them in all sorts of different areas, I find a lot of folks struggle with trying to do good marketing for their business using all the new social media tools that are out there. What are we talking about? Well, Facebook, like the one you're watching, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, X, Y, Z, you name it, there's a new one every week just about, right? So with that in mind, my business is to help local businesses. You know, we're not talking about the General Motors of the world or the, you know, the Walmarts of the world. We're talking about local businesses, generally smaller, but some could be bigger. And also home-based businesses, people who, you know, do direct sales, network marketing, uh, whatever, run a home-based business, help them with their marketing. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to talk about all the different aspects, what I call a full-spectrum approach of marketing, try to get you up to speed, get your message out, spread the word about your business, whatever it may be. So it doesn't matter, like I said, if you're a local business that, again, bakes cookies or pies, or if you're a car repair person, or if you're a network marketing person, it doesn't matter. All of the things that we're going to talk about on this broadcast, hopefully every day, and on the blog at BillSkladowski.com, tell you more about that later. Um, will help you to do exactly that. Get your message out, spread the word, do a better job of marketing yourselves, and of course, bottom line, make more money, because that's what it's all about, right? Making more money. In fact, I come up with a little slogan that, that uh, my business is to help other businesses turn social media into profits. How's that, How's that fly for you? Cool. Now, I will tell you right now, uh, as we get started, that coming up Friday, we're going to make Fridays Free Coaching Friday. So if you have a question or if there's something you've been struggling with, try to get your social media up and running for your business. I invite you to drop it in the comments here underneath this video and we will address that on Friday. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. I'll have links to the web pages and all that uh, beneath here. I do want to tell you that right off the bat, I do have uh, a page out there with some freebies for you already if you're in the business of 
doing your own local business, I would invite you to go visit SuperheroBizTips.com. And when you get there, you'll see it. There's little kids dressed like superheroes. It's kind of cool. But anyway, SuperheroBizTips.com. I tried to make a sign. It, it was a little too big. So here, we'll do it like a, like a crawl, like the weather, right? So it's Superhero Biz, B I Z, tips dot com. <laughs> Off of the site. That worked better than I thought it would. <laughs> Superhero Biz Tips dot com, where you can find some help, some inspiration, some things to keep your business going. And also, I invite you to the uh, webpage, my webpage, BillSkladowski.com, and I'll have that link down below as well with uh, more information about how you can get help for your business with all the social media outlets out there. Now, as we mentioned earlier on, there's a million, or at least it seems like a million, different social media outlets out there where you can promote yourself, your business, and whatever it is you're doing to the world. In my research, uh, experience, whatever, there's really four that matter. And I'm going to call it three plus one. And I'll explain why you'll understand why in a minute. Three plus one when it comes to the big things that matter social media-wise and internet presence-wise for you and your business. And they are, in no particular order, this one that we're watching, Facebook, number one. I mean, with a billion people using Facebook, it's you can't ignore it, right? So somebody somewhere is going to use it to find you and your business and find out more about you. So Facebook is number one, again, and not necessarily in order here. Number two is YouTube. And if you're not as familiar with that, well, and you're a small local business or a home-based business, you should be. You probably are, but I'll tell you why. And that is, of course, YouTube is owned by Google, the biggest search engine on planet Earth. So YouTube, by default, gets a lot of love from Google. And also, when people are looking for specific businesses to do business with in their local area, if it's something that you can actually see, again, like baking a cake or doing your yard, yard maintenance or you're cleaning your pool or fixing your car, any number, number of other things, very often people will turn to YouTube to look for a video to see more about your business. And I mean see, to actually look to see who you are because, uh, you know, as a business owner, you probably already know that people do business with those they know, like, and trust. And if they can see you in a video, either, you know, making a pie or fixing a car or cleaning a pool and you look like somebody who can be trusted with the business, well, you'll probably get their business too. Okay, so Facebook number one, YouTube number two. Third, uh, also equally important, is a website or a blog. You can call it, you know, some people call it website, some people call it a blog, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just say, I'm just going to say blog because it's easier. And that's great, but the more important piece of that is your um, opportunity as a website owner, as a, as a blog creator, is a way to communicate with your audience directly one-on-one -on -one by a couple of different ways. Number one, of course, is the blog post by the things that you write every week or maybe a couple of times a week. And by the way, if you're just writing your blog or your website as a business person, I would encourage you at least a couple of weeks to put something out there. And then also, uh, along with your own articles and the things that you write, is to encourage the people who come to visit your blog to give you their email address so that you can stay in touch with them. Now, how does that work? Well, you've probably been to a uh, hundred different websites or blogs where they offer something in exchange for your email address. You know, sign up here and we'll give you 10 tips on blank. And uh, if you're in the pool business, let's just say you're a pool maintenance guy, you know, uh, 10 tips on how to keep your pool water sparkling clear so that it's fun to swim in for you and your family all year round. Uh, pretty good headline. And for to do that, to get that, all they ask for in return is your email address. Well, why do they do that? Simple. So they can stay in touch with you. So they can continue to reach out to you. So they can get to know you and you can get to know them. And remember the no like, and trust factor. So I'm going to call it three plus one when it comes to the big things that you should be thinking about for marketing your local business or your home-based business. And again, in no order, Facebook, YouTube, your blog, and as part of that blog, 
the emails that you collect from people and that you share as you go with more information. So Facebook, YouTube, blog slash email marketing is what they call that. And if all of this is new to you and all of this is a little mind bending at the moment, don't worry, we will get into each and every one of those in great detail with great tips and techniques on how to best utilize them for your business marketing as this video goes on in the days and weeks to come. But I'm just about out of time for now. So I want to thank you. And here's, here's what you can do. If you see this and you are a small business owner or a home-based business owner, well, congratulations. Thanks for finding me and welcome to the tribe. We really want to kind of make this a community. Beneath this video, you're going to find a link to my uh, business page because uh, I'm going to post this on my personal page and also link to it on a business page. I know it's, believe me, we'll talk more about that as business goes on. But if you are a local business person or a home-based business person, congratulations, thank you. If you want to uh, get some tips on, per, on uh, boosting your business, visit that Superhero Biz Tips. Oh, let's do it again. If you missed it earlier, this was, this was fun. This is, I feel like, you know, I'm in the movies. Remember at the beginning of uh, 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 Star Wars, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, so we had that crawl that went across. <sighs> SuperheroMissedTips.com <laughs> Next time I, I will. I'll make it smaller, I promise, so it fits. Okay, so go there. Uh, I've got a freebie for you there, and yes, I will ask for your email address. Look at that. It's a lesson in email marketing right off the top. Uh, visit the Facebook page below, which has got, uh, which I'll have the link to. And if you have questions or comments that you'd like me to talk about where it comes to how to best market and promote your business using social media, please include them, and we will talk about that on Free Coaching Friday. We'll get out there. Now, uh, again, uh, if you're a small business person, thank you for joining us. If you, if you know of a small business person or if you have friends or associates or, you know, whatever, please let me invite you to share this video with them. Uh, you can tag somebody with it. You can, you know, send it off to somebody. You can share it onto their page. There's a host of ways we can do that. And that's going to be one of the things we talk about as we get going. But because we're just getting going, I really, really need and uh, a thank you in advance for your help in helping me to share this message with other small business and home-based business owners out there, no matter where they may be. Like I said, I'm, I'm based in Southwest Florida, but it doesn't matter. The things that we're going to talk about work no matter where you're at and no matter what business you're in. If you are a local business or a home-based business, we are going to have things to help you on this page and also at the website, BillSkladowski.com, and also on the Facebook Biz page to go with it. Okay. I thank you for being with me. Uh, it's been awesome and fun for our first uh, video. It's something that I'd like to do every day, and uh, I look forward to talking to you. And again, if you have questions or comments, send them out to us. Uh, the website, again, SuperheroBizTips.com for your uh, free uh, audio. There's an audio and a downloadable handout there on uh, getting your business up and running and even running at uh, superhero speeds. And then also uh, my own blog, BillSkladowski.com, which has even more stuff. Uh, where you can learn about marketing your business. I am Bill Skladowski. I help local and home-based businesses turn social media into profits. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you. Bye-bye.